This video provides recommendations for adapting differentiation protocols starting from self-aggregating pluripotent stem cell, or PSC, suspension culture. These protocols can help improve the efficiency, scalability, and reproducibility of generating PSC-derived organoid models. Starting your differentiation with suspension PSC spheroid culture offers several benefits for organoid generation over traditional 2D methods. We will review several examples demonstrating our four main benefits of using PSC spheroids grown in Gibco stem scale medium for organoid generation. These benefits are consistency across cell lines, simplified and streamlined protocols, higher yield for some protocols, and improved functional maturation of cells. Collectively, these benefits can also help reduce the time needed when working with variable or time-consuming protocols to generate experimental cell and organoid models. Why are these benefits so important? To answer this question, let's review a few of the technical challenges historically associated with PSC-derived organoid culture. Consistency of organoid differentiation can be affected by several input parameters, such as PSC source and quality, media composition, and starting spheroid size. Additionally, workflow and protocol complexity in the aggregation method employed, media changes, and maturation times can affect the phenotypic and functional outputs of the derived cell type. Such challenges affect process control, a critical factor for improving the ability to generate robust organoid models. At the onset of differentiation, PSC spheroid size can be a critical process control parameter. For some, but not all, protocols, this has a marked influence on the differentiation outcome. We think of this as akin to relative confluence in 2D. For example, differentiation efficiencies of PSC spheroid culture into cardiac organoids is dependent on the starting spheroid size, where larger spheroids of about 300 micrometers can robustly generate a beating phenotype and higher expression of cardiac-specific markers. Alternatively, during the differentiation into definitive endoderm, starting spheroid size seems to have a lesser impact on the differentiation outcome as judged by flow cytometric analysis of definitive endoderm-specific marker cells. It is therefore important to note that even though size is a parameter, its impact is context-dependent. In addition to lineage-specific bias, donor-to-donor -donor variability may affect starting spheroid size requirements. In another example, the benefits of utilizing PSC spheroid suspension cultures to initiate the differentiation of midbrain organoids can be seen compared to differentiation from 2D monolayer cultures. In both conditions, the Gibco PSC Dopaminergic Neuron Differentiation Kit, which was originally designed and optimized in 2D cultures, was used. The Dopaminergic Neuron Differentiation Protocol initiated from PSC spheroids grown in stem scale medium has allowed for the derivation of higher yields of phenotypically similar midbrain floor plate progenitors in shorter times. The protocol saves 10 days compared to monolayer culture. Images of PSC spheroids at input and the following 11 days of floor plate specification and expansion show substantial size and shape changes. Immunocytochemistry confirms expression of the floor plate specific markers FOXA2 and OTX2, shown in green and red respectively. We often see changing morphologies accompanying differentiations and will assess and adjust agitation speeds to balance sufficient mixing without inducing visible damage to organoids through excessive shear. Agitation speeds are typically reduced as organoids grow larger. The functional capacity of the derived midbrain organoids from the PSC suspension spheroids can also be compared to that of dopaminergic neurons generated by the traditional 2D approach when observing electrophysiology via multi-electrode arrays. Significant improvement was observed in metrics assayed, such as mean firing rates, synchronicity, or even the number of active electrodes detected in the organoid cultures compared to the 2D monolayer differentiation. It is important to note that the improved electrophysiological phenotype reported here was achieved in a shorter time day 32 of the spheroid differentiation protocol compared to day 42 of the 2D monolayer protocol due to the time saved during initial specification and expansion. The benefits of utilizing suspension-based spheroid culture are not restricted to neural and cardiac organoid models. Capitalizing on the benefits of process control and workflow ease associated with suspension-based differentiation can be observed when deriving lung organoid models, 
where extracellular matrix dependence and length of the differentiation protocol are often pain points associated with traditional approaches. The differentiation of lung organoids from PSC suspension cultures allows us to reduce the need for ECM coding as well as handling, passage, and processing times. By employing this approach, optimizing a robust and scalable lung organoid model was achieved. The optimized lung organoid differentiation protocol allowed for the generation of large working banks of differentiated cells where initial differentiation of PSCs was carried out in suspension to allow for the scalable generation of definitive endoderm and ventralized anterior foregut endoderm progenitors in about 15 days. Epithelial maturation was subsequently conducted in embedded culture to ensure proper specification. The scaling up of matured cells can subsequently be transitioned back to suspension culture, where dilute ECM was added, reducing the workflow complexity and variability associated with fully embedded cultures. At the desired yields, cells can be cryopreserved in large working cell banks. When needed, cryopreserved cells derived from different sources can be thawed, recovered, and further expanded, allowing for improved process control and reduced downstream variability in discovery, development, and therapeutic applications.